Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. Now today, I am just lucky enough to be the beaches of Southwest Florida. Sanibel Island, that is. If you all remember, I started my company, Go Green Energy, out on Bukele on Pine Island in 2008. We got some properties out there. My wife lives there, so it's kind of my second home. So th th this issue is near and dear to my heart for more than one reason. You know, and, and we've talked long and hard about climate change and what we can do. And the nice thing has always been to me that Florida was so proactive when it claim, came to dealing with it and helping people accomplish their own goals. Well, unfortunately, Florida Power and Light, FPL, has decided over a decade ago, because they've been advocating quite a long, to change that. To bring Florida backwards, to make it harder, not only for people like me and you to have solar power, but harder for the installers and the people that are putting them in around the state. Most of them are going to go out of business. See, what this bill is about, even though they call it the Renewable Generation Bill or something like that, very misleading because the bill is about taking net metering and reducing it to nothing. Net metering is one of the keys that goes along with the tax credits, friendly regulations in a state like Florida, and other things that make such an expensive thing affordable for people. And I hate to tell you all, the price of solar is going up and it's going to start going up drastically for many reasons. Watch my video on that and you might understand. So what is net metering? Net metering is on a day like today when I'm producing plenty of power but only using a little. I use the power grid and power back to my neighbors. And then the utility, Lee County Electric, where I am, FPL, wherever you happen to be in Florida, doesn't have to produce as much power for that time because all those buildings are going to be getting a, a little from around here. So to me that helps stabilize the grid, that, that helps reduce brownouts. There's a lot of things that it, that it can do by having all these small little power producing stations around. Well that's not what FP&L wants and that's not what they want for you or me even though we don't live in their territory. See instead of allowing us to simply put a kilowatt hour up the grid and get it back when we need it for free, it's not for free. Okay, it's actually not, and there is an increased charge in the hookup fee to the utility, so we are paying for it. Not only that, you know what, if you lived here and have been buying power, you have been paying to install all the equipment around town, so you've already got an investment in that. Why can't you use it to your advantage? So instead of allowing us to just send one and get one back, which is the way it's been for years, and by the way, FPL tried to defeat this several years ago in Florida with a referendum, I believe, and the smart people of Florida voted it down. Well, we got to vote them down again this time because their goal is to say, we'll buy that excess electricity that way at the wholesale rate, and then we will sell you your electricity you produced later in the day at the retail rate, which means they're going to pay you about 25% of what a kilowatt hour costs when it goes one way and you got to pay a hundred percent when it comes back. Now mind you, like I said, you are already paying for this service to use that power company as your storage bank over the course of the year. Now from what I've read, there's been some nefarious means to FP&L getting this done. They have, after the referendum failed, worked on getting certain legislators specific legislators used your money that you pay them to get legislators elected they're going to vote against you okay that's what fpnl has been doing and, and there are quite a few stories out there about dark money money that goes from one committee to another charity or whatever in order to hide specific contributions and it's definitely rumored that the person who authored this bill one of her one of her pet little charities received 10 grand in dark money right after this was submitted and oh well, they both said that that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I think we all know a little bit better than that. So the real situ situation here is, is Florida going to continue down the path of being a leader nationwide in renewable energy installation production, and not only that, empowering the little people to do it? Because you know what FP&L wants? They say, well, heck, we'll just put up all these big solar fields over here, and then we'll have solar power. Of course because then you get to put them up and you get to sell it. You're losing a client. That's the big issue. When, when FPNL says that they're losing money, they aren't losing anything. They're very well regulated. They make their money, they present it to the government, and they, they say they want to make it fair across the board. 
already is fair. You're already paying extra to be hooked up with solar. But I'll tell you, FPL, I don't want your solar power coming from North Florida, losing a lot of it down the way till it gets to my house and I got dirty electricity. I'd rather just have solar power on my house and get clean electricity. Clean, clean electricity. People don't understand that. The farther away the power comes, the dirtier it's gonna be, the less long your appliances and all that stuff's gonna last. So they're gonna have to install solar fields approximately twice as large out somewhere else that you would have to on your house which is just crazy to me because then we got extra production and extra pollution and everything else that goes with all these extra solar panels which by the way they own you don't so like i was saying fpl this is a state issue and you are trying to get your greedy little hands on more money and you are subjecting everybody in the state to your theory and philosophy. Well, the turbine guy doesn't like that. You know what the turbine guy likes? The turbine guy likes my electricity. The turbine guy likes my system. And considering we cannot go off the grid here in Florida, it's illegal, I got no choice to be hooked up to the power company. Well, you might as well give me a chance to reduce that as much as I can instead of constantly forking out ever raising prices to you. The turbine guy says, FPL, keep your greedy hands off of my power supply. Turbine guy, signing off.